In this video, we are going to talk about second law of thermodynamic and also entropy. First, I'm going to talk about entropy. Entropy is dispersion of energy. For example, a hot coffee, uh, after a while, the transfer is energy to the environment. Uh, so the energy is dispersed to the environment uh, and cause the increasing of the a randomic uh, movement of the particle in the air or so in another hand we can say entropy is equal to the disorder another example is gas in the cylinder with higher pressure than the atmosphere uh, when we open the valve for this cylinder gas flowing to the air and transfer is kinetic energy to the environment so again we have increasing in entropy the total entropy of the system and its surrounding always increase for a spontaneous process. And second law of thermodynamic is related to the spontaneous reaction. Regarding to the second law, delta S or changing in entropy is greater than Q over T. Q is heat of the process, uh, the flow of energy is into or out of the system and T is absolute temperature. For phase transition uh, process, with a good approximation, uh, we can write delta S is equals to Q over T. And Q in phase transition normally is delta H. So let's have two examples for calculation of delta S for phase transition. First example here is evaporation of water at 100 Celsius. Delta H for this process is 40.66 kJ. Regarding to the equations, Delta S is equals to 40.66 10 to 3 over, uh, keep in mind temperature should be in Kelvin, so 100 Celsius plus 273.5 Celsius. And this amount will equal to 108.96 Joule per Kelvin. So in evaporation process, in conversion of liquid to gas, entropy increase. It's very obvious because this order in gas phase is more than a liquid phase. The second example is about mercury. Delta H for this process is 2.3 kilojoules. So regarding to the previous equations, 2.3, 10 to 3. Again, temperature should be in Kelvin. So it's equals to positive 9.82 so also conversion of solid to liquid is caused increase in entropy uh, it's very obvious again because this order in liquid is greater than solid phase we are also able to predict the uh, changing in entropy in chemical reactions there is three condition uh, increase entropy during the reactions number one breaking the molecule to a smaller part number two is increase gas molecule in our reactions and number three if we have any conversion of solid to liquid or liquid to gas or solid to gas these three things uh, cause increasing in uh, entropy and we have positive delta s uh, let's uh, have some example for chemical reaction and predict uh, what is the sign for that entropy. Here is four example for prediction of uh, entropy in chemical reaction. In reaction one, we have one solid here at the left and we have one solid and one gas at the right. So number of gas at the left side is zero and at the right side is one. So we have increasing in number of gas. So we have increasing in entropy. So delta S sign for this reaction will be positive. For second reaction, we have one solid and six gas at the left side. And at the right side, we have 12 gas. Again, number of gas increase in the product. So entropy also is positive or increasing for this reaction. At reaction three, we have four and six. We have 10 gas molecule at the left and we have nine gas molecule at the right. So number of gas decrease in the product during the reaction. So also 
delta S in this reaction is negative. But at the last example, we have two gas at reactant and we have two gas in product. So number of gas molecule at two sides is equals. So because the number of gas is equal at the both sides, we cannot say uh, entropy is zero. So uh, in this situation, we cannot predict. We have to calculate it from a standard entropy. Uh, what is a standard entropy or absolute uh, entropy? Is the entropy value for a standard state of uh, any element or compound. And uh, we sh normally show it by S degree sign. So there is a table, we can find the entropy value for any element or a compound and we can use this data for calculating uh, entropy changing in the chemical reaction. Let's have a calculation for some of these examples. For calculating delta S in the chemical reaction, we need to use this formula. Subtotal of entropy for product minus subtotal of entropy for reactant. This NP and NR is a stoichiometric coefficient for any of product molecule or reactant molecules. So at beginning, I would like to calculate the changing entropy for the last uh, example uh, that we were not able to predict based on the, those three simple rules. Entropy value for hydrogen gas is 130.6. For iodine is 260.69 in gas use state. And for hydrogen iodide is 206.5. So let's use this formula and calculate the changing in entropy. So we have product HI. So changing in entropy is, and coefficient for HI is 2. So 2 times 206.5 minus entropy for reactant. And the answer for this reaction is positive 21.71. Okay, at example 1, Delta S will be equals to subtotal of product 38.21 plus 213.7 minus reactant 92.9 and the answer will be 150.01. The calculation is matched with our predictions that it says delta S should be positive. For third example, again, Delta S equal to product. So for oxygen, we have 5 oxygen. Then 5 times 205. Plus, and we have 4 ammonia. 4 times 192.7. Minus reactant for nitrogen oxide, mononitrogen oxide, we have 4 mole, so 4 times 2.10.6 plus 6 times 188.7 and the answer is negative 178.8 is again matched with our prediction that we predict this uh, reaction has a negative Delta S. After learn about how we can calculate changing in entropy during a chemical reaction, uh, let's come back to the second law of thermodynamic. The second law of thermodynamic it says delta S is bigger than Q over T. In most of the chemical reaction, reaction proceed during the constant pressure. So instead of writing Q, we can write delta H. This equation is a criterion for a spontaneous reaction. So I would like to modify it a little bit. So I can multiply two sides of this equation by T. Then, then T delta S is greater than delta H and if I take this one to the left side 
I can rewrite in this form. This term is a criterion for spontaneous reactions and we can uh, name this term as a delta G and we call it free energy Gibbs and I explain uh, this concept in another video. For watching more video please uh, subscribe us on our YouTube channel.